If you are looking to up your game in business or in life in general, our next guest says he has the formula for success. Speaker and author Francis Zepetto is joining us now with more. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? We're great. Glad to have you. Tell us a little bit about your book and what inspired you to write it in the first place. Well, you know, um, being a coaching trainer for the past 10 years, we have to be blind not to see patterns in people's behavior. And what we know is that people have a great vision for their life and their business, but they have no plan. And when people don't have a plan, they don't take action and they settle for status quo and they have an okay life instead of having an extraordinary life. So for me, I, I get into coaching and training because I don't like to see people uh, struggle. And through the, the work we've done here, we've been able to, to put some processes and some, some action steps for people to be able to get through their goals and their visions um, with extraordinary results. All right. Well, the book we hear features many inspirational success stories. Can you share some of those with us now? Yeah, sure. So one of the interviews, one of my favorite parts of the book, so it's got 12 chapters. And the last chapter talks a lot about um, the interviews of people who have used these processes and, and found some success with them, extraordinary results. And Chris Nickich, who uh, some of you may know who heard of him, he's the first person with Down syndrome to ever complete an Ironman. And what I find this to be really incredible is not only is he the first person to complete one, he was the first one to ever actually start one. Nobody has ever even started an Ironman. And uh, I've gotten to know him uh, over the past couple of years and then shared the stage with him a couple of times. And he's just an extraordinary story. <clears throat> but he had what we call a defining moment. And I'm sure we've all had those at one point where we, hate, we say enough is enough. We're not going to just settle for the life that people said he should have especially having Down syndrome, but he was going to go take the life he wanted. And uh, one of the processes in our book is, is finding a mentor and, uh, and letting that mentor show you the, the path to getting what you want. And he went out and he found that, and he became uh, the first person to complete an Ironman. He completed it in his first attempt, which I found uh, just incredible. Wow, that's an amazing story and very inspirational. So you mentioned the process. What, in your opinion, is the most important process or tool that readers of your book should focus on? Number one is just take action, right? So procrastination is the killer of all dreams and goals. Right? So when people procrastinate and they let, they let life take over their day-to-day -day activities, um, they, never, they never get what they want. They have the great vision of what they want, but they don't take action. So procrastination is the killer of all dreams and goals. And, and through some of the systems in our book here, um, the first 10 chapters, we, we go through ways for you to take action step by step and be able to get the results you're looking for. Wonderful. So if people are interested in picking up a copy of your book, tell us the title, where they should go. How did they get it? Perfect. Yes, yeah, so it's called The Process, and we wanted to share it easily with you guys. There's a QR code that I'm sure you'll see on your screen. And when you, when you scan that QR code, if, if you're sitting here saying, well, I think he's talking to me, it's probably because I am, right? I'm talking directly to you. And on that QR code, you're going to have an opportunity to order a copy of the book, and you're going to have a virtual option to be able to book it, get on my calendar for one-on-one -on -one meetings so we can kind of really go through your goals and how we can get you um, from where you are to where you want to go. And exactly like you just said, you have to take action. So thank you so much, Francis Zepetto, for joining us this morning. It's been very insightful. Thank you, Tally. And we'll be right back.